Hello. I uh, I got this drive for parts. Turns out to be a good drive. It just needed needed some TLC, um, and it came with this disc in it. It has ET on it and a couple of other games, Jumpman Jack and some others. So I was just curious <clears throat> if I could read it. So I read it and I got some errors when I tried to read it. So. How do you recover data off of a disk? Well, I know that people think this is crazy, but we're going to demonstrate it. So what I did was I took Mr. Razorblade and I cut along the edge here. And you can open the envelope and take out the floppy. Here it is. Floppy, one each, type one, style three, brown in color, generic as all get out. Okay, this is the read surface. And we're going to take some alcohol. Uh, I don't know if it's a flippy or not, so I'll clean both sides. <clears throat> so here's Mr. Take this uh, precious fluid here, alcohol. And uh, just, it's just standard 70% isopropyl alcohol. You don't have to get all fancy. Um, and uh, this goes to the fellow who was talking to me about dog on the uh, on on the forum about their about the, the the head pad being made out of rabbit hair was important. Lord have mercy, seriously. So I'll go ahead and take the uh, alcohol and clean. This is actually a. Uh, Mounting a naked floppy. I'm not going to bother putting it back in this sleeve. If you uh, have never mounted a naked floppy, well, there you go. So here's the schmutz off of that. That's that schmutz is actually oxide. Is an oxide layer from the uh, from the disc that is uh, loose, and it's what will get on your heads and confuse the heads. Uh, it's uh, it's actually iron oxide, chromium dioxide, some other stuff. Um, uh, finely divided, as chemists say, uh, ground real fine, and then mixed with a binder, a glue, and then put on the disc, which is transparent mylar. If you scratch the disc and then scratch the other side, you'll you'll be able to see through it clearly. Um, and uh, so now we're just going to mount the naked floppy. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and take you off your stand here, which is okay. So we're going to mount the naked floppy, so we just go ahead and stick it in there in such a way as to view the hub and see that it's see that it's properly aligned there. Is it on the? Yeah, see the ring. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to do a dur of it. I had it a little misaligned. So here we go. So now we've got, there's the directory. Let's, I'm going to go ahead and do it again just for your, for fun. Okay, there's a naked floppy. Uh, the problem before was I didn't have it quite, I didn't have it quite aligned on the hub. 
because, you know, that's what the jacket actually does is, you know, it keeps it free from dust and uh, makes it more human handleable. And uh, so now we're going to try to copy ET, which wouldn't copy. So we'll all be a monkey's uncle. And E.T. copied just fine. So let's go ahead and copy the entire disk to a file. So that uh, I don't have to access the disk any more than absolutely necessary. And we'll go ahead and go... Oops, that was the caps lock key. Oh, I got a bad sector. So one of these files is still bad. But that's a genuine, probably, it, it, it's possible another cleaning might actually clean that up. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'm going to put you back on your stand. Okay, there you go. Go ahead and put Mr. Disk now and give it another cleaning. Now, there's a certain amount of aggressiveness that you can use. As a matter of fact, um, there are commercial products for, I don't know whether they make them for floppies, but I know they made them for tapes, called the disc, or called a tape cleaning drive. And what the tape cleaning drive does is instead of cap stands and pinch rollers, it uh, has knife edges. And they are sharp. And it leads the tape around at an acute angle around these knife edges and runs the tape through the machine. And scrapes off a layer of oxide that is come loose. And the thing is, is loose oxide on the disk can actually rearrange data. I mean, it, it can confuse the, the drive. But the oxide layer is pretty thick. So you can actually scrape a good chunk of the material off. And the, uh, the data will be unaffected. Because the, the... Now, see all that schmutz? Good lord. So we'll go ahead and give it another dose. And then we're going to try to copy the disk again. Now, you could just put it back in the envelope, but it's more fun to mount a naked floppy. If you've never mounted a naked, a naked floppy before, you can do this with a disc. I mean, you know, a disc you don't care about, but it doesn't matter. You can always put it back in the doggone envelope, put a piece of tape on it, and, uh, and there you go. So now we have the cleaned disc. I'm going to go ahead and give it a wipe with dry wipe. And then I'm going to clean the head in case the head got... Where are my Q-tips? There they are. In case the head got schmutz on it from that disc because it's not dirt usually. So there we go, Mr. Q-tip. Give Mr. Head a wipe. Then flip it around. Give it a dry and then we're going to stick Mr. Naked Floppy in there again this time we're going to get it aligned right okay okay now we're going to go ahead and Go ahead and copy that data. 
I try to. Uh, still track 17 has got a bad sector on it oh well that is probably genuinely a bad sector I can't do much about but we did get so let's go ahead and try to copy the files that we can copy and uh, we already got ET so let's copy mountain I think it's locomotion that's faulty because it's late on the disc, so we'll see. Cool, huh? Okay. I bet you it's locomotion that's 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 at fault. Or we didn't copy jump, did we? Ah, it was Jumpman that had the fall. So let's copy Loco. Now let's see if there's anything on the other side of this disc. The disc, the flop, the flippy wasn't uh, wasn't notched, but that doesn't mean anything with vintage discs because this is the uh, right protect sensor right here. Let me get my finger out of the way. Right, right here, and you can simply clip these two wires and uh, install a switch, and you can tell it it's right protected or not. There's a switch. So we'll go ahead and flip this disc. We already did. We flipped it over. Insert it so that it's uh, properly aligned. Oops, that's a bit much. There we go. Okay, so that side is not formatted. We're going to go ahead and format it. You know why? See, it, it's complaining because um, because the uh, the disc is the drive needs to see the index hole, and if it doesn't see the index hole, it thinks there's no disc in there. So you got to get the disc aligned just so.
Ah, it's a yeah, it's a bad. It's just a bum disc. It's a generic disc from from uh, Lord knows where. So there it is, naked floppy. Does read on the uh, on the certified side um, now. And the only thing that we lost out of it was Jumpman. I was curious about E.T. because uh, I may have found a copy of E.T. that you know no one has ever seen before. Who knows? It's 16K. It's a big game. So uh, anyway, I just thought you guys might appreciate mounting a naked floppy. And then you can just stick it back in the, in the sleeve. Put a piece of tape over it, done it a million times, and uh, there you go.